Hello, YouTube again. Um, I'm back with my friend Carpet Bugs, who's here. Uh, so we, in the last video, um, we designed this storage, which was uh, two wide tileable binary storage, um, just like the hallway part of it. And this had individual chest comparator output and hopper locking. Um, but with all the items in my well not even all the items in minecraft in one hallway it was 196 blocks long which is really big so i was set well we were set on making um you know a one wide tileable version but we thought that was impossible um until i saw a the a melon tech video um where where um they show their binary storage system and I saw the chest layout and then I I copied it over and then uh, we designed we designed a storage for it so this is our first version um, so each chest so the chest layout is like this when you're inside a slice you can reach all the chests easily and uh, so each hopper gets locked, so there are no active hoppers in this whole thing. Uh, and we also have a status light indicating when a slice is b activated, so you can see it from inside the hallway. And um, we also have comparator output for every single chest, so comparator output here, here, and there. So if we activate the slice, gets activated like that those these lamps are indicating um when hoppers are being are being locked or unlocked so when they're on they're being locked when they're off they're being unlocked so it's like around a second for the whole slice to be unlocked and 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 locked um and it's be it's it's that slow because we just use observer um propagation so we just have observers observing the upper layers, so it's sort of slow. But um, we came up with this version where we actually, the main, the main function is pushing down a row of blocks to lock and unlock hoppers, at the same time also allowing signals um, with the comparators to go through. And we to we toggle this thing up and down with with um, this instant wall technology and some weird piston timings at the bottom. So this is way faster and it is way simpler. So when we do that, it's much faster activation and deactivation because the speed of pushing in Minecraft is instant. So we can get signals down way faster. So. And it has, you know, compared output for everything, all all hopper unlocking, and we have the status light. So we made a hallway out of this. So this is a 1,024 chest hallway. It's 128 blocks long, so it's even smaller than the two wide and more chests. And so we can we can do individual slice selecting. So can trigger a slice and inside here we can see the status light um, we shift down this whole thing unlock hoppers and you can also see we get signal strength out of the chest so in this slice we have this and this and also this so signal strength 14 5 7 and also 15 because there's nothing in that chest when we deactivate it, we go back to 15. So with this storage, we can um, get individual chest uh, fill levels. So we can have different ratios of items in here. So we can have half the chest normal items, half the chest shulker boxes. Um, so this is only the hallway, so it doesn't even include a decoder, but like I said in the last video we're going to be using technical aspects decoder which is instant and we'll also hook up uh, bulk storage to this 
and also a shulker box splitter so we can get a fully fledged binary storage system. So uh, yeah, I'll provide the links to the to the Lightmatica schematic of the slice so you guys can look at it and we'll also uh, put links to the Melantech people and their binary storage system. So um, thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time. Bye.